episode three of our Real Steel series, and today we are comparing the MDR series in Escape from Tarkov versus Real Life. I'm the German Respectful Guys, and this is episode 3 of our Real Steel series in Escape from Tarkov. In this series, we are comparing weapons in Escape from Tarkov versus real life. That means how realistic are weapons in Escape from Tarkov, how do they feel, and so on and so on. Just some background information for you guys. I have been a firearm instructor in the German military, and right now I'm still in this tactical industry, and I'm also a desert trader right here in Germany. And today, as I said, we are talking about the MDR series. In Escape from Tarkov, we have two versions of the MDR. The first one is the 7.62x51, and the other one is the 556 by 45. In Escape from Tarkov, every weapon system has its benefits. Except for pump action shotguns, they are just bad in my opinion, but that's a topic for another video. And the MDR system is very well known for its high ergonomics and you can shoot fully automatic with both versions, the 556 and the 762. In real life, the Desert Tech weapon systems are very well known for its high accuracy, modularity and very good quality. So in Escape from Tarkov, in my opinion, it feels like every weapon is kinda precise. My Weapon Hunter, my SR-25, my MDR, my Arzas, all of these guns are shooting where I'm aiming at. In real life, every part of the Desert Tech MDR is made from Desert Tech itself in Utah, United States. Except for the barrels, the barrels are from Lothar Walter, which are also very famous for its accuracy. The benefits from the MDR system in Escape from Tarkov is you can take the base gun, put a sight on it and you are basically ready to go. Of course you can add a grip, some muzzle devices and you will have a little bit better stats compared to the basic version. Of course that's very neat because especially early wipe the 556 MDR is very strong and the 762 MDR can shoot as I said fully automatic. It is kind of cheap compared to some other builds in this caliber and you have a very high ergonomics as I said early on. In Escape from Tarkov we don't have the shoulder switch right now. It is a little bit sad because the MDR is ambidextrous. That means you can use it perfectly as a lefty as I am or as a right-handed shooter. And one of the biggest features of the Desert Tech firearm systems is the very quick caliber and barrel length change. That means you can change the barrel length and your caliber in under one minute easily and if you are assembling the new barrel it will always be on the same place. What that means if you are adjusting your weapon you only have to do it once. Of course write down your adjustments with your current scope and which scope you used and you are good to go all the time. In real life we also have the 16 and 22 inch version in Tarkov right now only the 16 inch. So maybe it could be an idea to add the 20 inch barrel inside of Tarkov to reduce the recoil a little bit more, especially for the 7.62 version in Escape from Tarkov to maybe make it a little bit more a meta weapon. I want to give you some further information about the MDR system. Right in the beginning of its release, some versions had some big problems with some certain types of ammunitions. That means you had a lot of malfunctions. In Germany we are calling it soldier safe or soldier friendly. What that means is the assembling and disassembling is a little bit complicated. And for a soldier, believe me guys, I know what I'm talking about. It has to have a very simple way to do something. In our own environment we never had problems with 5.56 or 7.62. But some 300 blackout hunting rounds are still producing some issues in the MDR weapon system. And that brings me to my next point, we need the 300 blackout barrel for the MDR. Overall I would say, but I really don't know how it works in Escape from Tarkov, we should have or should be able to change calibers. It would be real nice for the MDR or even the 6 hour MCX, which is the 300 blackout rifle in Escape from Tarkov right now, to change calibers. Like you should also be able to change the MCX 
to a 5.56 version. Also very nice IRL that we have a forward ejection system. That means your breath is not leaving to your side. And you need that, for example, if you're shooting the MDR out of a helicopter. So in the end, I would say the MDR weapon system in Escape from Tarkov has its place, of course. The 5.56 version is especially early on a very good solution or if you have a bad day and you don't want to waste your time with some weapon modifications. The MDR in 7.62x51 in Escape from Tarkov is a very good solution if you want to have a very inexpensive build with high ergo and the capability to shoot fully automatic. I would say there is a difference in terms of the benefits from the real life version compared to the Escape from Tarkov version. Of course, it's a game, but I would say it is a little bit difficult to get this very high accuracy. We have a 16 inch barrel or a 22 inch barrel IRL in a ballpup system. This system is very short compared to its barrel length, but I can understand that this is pretty hard to get it in Escape from Tarkov. It would be really nice if Escape from Tarkov could add a 22 inch barrel that we have a little bit more adjustments. So please Nikita, give us a 300 blackout MDR in Escape from Tarkov. So I'm still very interested what do you think about this video series. So please type your feedback into the comment section below. And in the end, as always, your support is insane and show that to the world out there that we Germans can win something. And if it's your like, I would really appreciate it. See you in the next video, guys. Bye.